everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i've been to aldi for my shop i normally go on thursday evening but it's friday today so just went today went this morning and i've got a little haul for you now i need to i need to get through the the cold bag quick because there's some lollipops in there i want to get them in the freezer so i've got some drinks here let's just go through the drinks and then we can quickly move on to the cold bag so i hope you're all having a fabulous friday and if you want to see what i've been buying this week then just continue to watch first thing i've got i'm seeing these and i think they look just like lilt and they're called tropical blast and they're zero sugar I don't like getting drinks with sugar in usually. Marcus said that he really likes these as well. So six cans of them. Got my usual Coca-Cola Zero. Ten cans of them. Stick them there. And my usual bottles of water. I love my bottle of water. My tap water here isn't very nice. So if we don't have any water, then we do drink it. But I prefer the bottled gonna move these over here so let's go to the cold bag oh. oh by the way before i get into this i just want to say as well stick along right till the end because i've actually got a little bit of a wheelcoast haul as well so stick around right first thing got strawberries got two packs of these because I am trying to be healthy this week. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm going to be doing a challenge with Sam. Her channel's called The Fighting Felter. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Got some white seedless grapes. Some butterhead salad. Wild and tender. I've got to try that. Got some Granny Smith apples. They are my favourite apples. I don't prefer Granny Smith's or any others. I've got some wonky mixed peppers. And the reason why I've got these ones is because I do prefer the green. And when you buy the, the three pack, you're only getting one green one in there. And I know a lot of people don't like green. But I do like red and I do like green. So I think there's five in there. Yeah, five. Here's the ice lolly that I need to put in the fridge. Um, I've got the Tropico Exotic Fruit Lollies. I've got three of them. And four Scottish Raspberry Lollies. These look lovely. So it's getting to that time of year now where it's really nice and warm. It's quite muggy at the moment, but it's warm in the evening. It's nice to have a nice cold ice lolly. So I'm going to whack them in the freezer. Yum. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, I see this, a, a, a double XL hummus. Look at that. It was 95p, I think it was. Yeah, it's a double. So that's yums. I've got Matthew some pork and pickle pies. It's like a pork pie, and then it cut it in half and then put a bit of mustard on it. It does like that. I've got some British baby button mushrooms. I've got a cooked ham trimming. Now, it's only $1.99. And I think this looks quite good. Look, it looks like proper deli trimmed ham. And I think that would be quite nice with a salad. So, yeah. Or even just a snack on when you want to diet. That's, that's quite good. That's what I used to do when I was on the diet many years ago. Um, I've got some ripe and ready Hass avocados. I don't know what Hass means, but avocado. I've got some semi-skim milk, four pinter. And big orange juice. This is the smooth one. I do prefer the smooth one. And I've got Matthew, a British 
fillet steak, 28 day matured. Now I do quite like steak, but I don't like it enough to spend that much money on a steak for myself. So this will be for him when I can have like a ham salad or chicken or whatever. I've got chicken in the freezer as well. I've got Marcus the split pot crunch yogurt. some west country salted butter so i put this in my little butter dish on the side just delicious i've got some jerk chicken thighs these look so nice look at them now I do usually buy chicken and then put the jerk seasoning on but i just thought for a quick meal it's already seasoned marinated so they look yum and then I've also got some double XL minted lamb chops. Now we had these last week and they were absolutely delicious. And I think it was a smaller pack. So I bought the bigger pack of them because I just thought I wanted more. So I got them. And I've got some of my streaky smoked bacon rashers. I buy these usually every week. And I don't know why this is in the cold bag, but some power seed tomorrow. Because we needed some. So let me just get this moved and I'll get on to the next bag. Well, I've just whacked all my meat away in the fridge because, like I said, it's quite muggy and warm today. So didn't want that going off. Well, move on to the next one. Also, as well, you've probably noticed, but I've changed where I'm doing my haul this week. I normally do it over that side. It's quite dark over there and I thought in front of the window it's a bit bright, you'll see me, so. And I hope you can hear me because my microphone still hasn't turned off. It is meant to be coming today. It has come, yeah. Oh my. So, I've seen this. This is one of the middle aisle, like, special buy things. And this is the Kirkton House Fridge Storage with Twin Colander. So, I'll just take this off so you can see it. So, this will go might even go in the bottom part of my um fridge or it just slide onto the um just one of the shelves but it's got these different like, sections in it and you can put like lettuce leaves strawberries grapes things like that in there and it stays fresher because some packaging if it's got the holes in this is what my mum said earlier so if you've got say if you've got say the grapes they've got holes in then these are okay but the mushrooms they've got um carbon dioxide in there i think she said so it actually keeps them fresher it says i'll keep for longer if you keep me in my packaging in the fridge so mushrooms always keep in the actual packaging because they last longer as soon as you take them out of the packaging, and they, they go bad. But yeah, with the grapes and strawberries and things, I've got the holes in, so that'd be perfect for them. So yes, just a little little thing for you. Now I didn't know that my mum actually told me today, so thanks for that, mum. So I bought some of the wholemeal medium sliced bread. This looks just like the wholemeal Warburton's, but it's actually the Aldi one. The Warburton's one was £1.20 or £1.30. This was 55p, exactly the same. So I got that. Obviously, I couldn't resist. I needed to get some more stuff for Katie and her baby. Well, this is for a baby, not for her, but you know what I mean. So these are dribble bibs. Uh, there's three in a pack. So that one's got an elephant and a giraffe. And it's got a mixture on there. And then little giraffes and polka dots on there. So yeah, I got some of those. Very happy about that. Just knocking my camera there, as per usual. I've got some more of the fresh and freeze food containers. These are the larger ones. These are the one litre. And they also have the the smaller ones in there which are about half the size of this which i've already got but they're good for freezing meals or if you've got something left over and you just want to pop it in the fridge overnight 
else or can make up salads or whatever i've got a saw look at this it's massive this was 2.99 um for the 800 ml tomato ketchup by heinz um markers and cows do like this um i think we're running out but i've got a little bottle from i think it was morrison's about a month or so ago and yeah that's just about to go because they don't have it all the time and that little bottle was £2.40 this big one's £2.99 so I thought I'll grab some of that when I've got that in there yeah I've got some deodorant I've got the short cotton dry one I've got to try that one this week I've got Matthew some perfection high sweet chilli crisp they didn't have a great selection of crisps in there today um got these from Matthew as well these are the lemon and white chocolate cheesecake slices I've got 30% off them because the date is the 6th so that's today so you'll have them tonight they'll be all right tomorrow though they will um I've got some piccolo tomatoes absolutely love these these are my favorite tomatoes they're so sweet I recommend them I do you like tomatoes they're actually on offer um, at Aldi. I think they're 99p. Um, they're normally 169 I think. Um, I had to get the 12 medium eggs today because they didn't have any large. So there's not much difference. I've got some broccoli. So I'm doing like a um, broccoli with pasta or the broccoli could go with the lamb. I've got some more leeks because I do want to make my potato and leek soup again, leek and potato soup. So I've got some more of them. These are two quite large ones, so they're perfect. That soup is delicious, by the way. If you didn't see um, that vlog, I'll put a little picture of it up here. So it was just like a daily vlog, and then at the end of it, I did make a leek and potato soup and I'll talk you through the recipe. So if you want to see that one and try and make my recipe, I'll put it here and I'll link it below. And um, got some extra fine green beans. Some Greek style natural yogurt. So I'll have this with the strawberries, um, some honey and some, might even have granola with it. I've got some double cream to go with Matthew's cheesecakes. Couldn't resist again. I've got some of the Mamiya extra sensitive, as mild as cotton wool and water wipes. Okay, baby box. Got some of the Piri Piri hot sauce and marinade, so you can use it for either like a dipping sauce or you can marinate like chicken and stuff in it and Marcus really likes this it's very very similar to the Nando's Piri Piri but it's less than half the price it is. I've got some celery sticks thought these would be good for dipping in the hummus and I've got some softest aloe vera normally buy the nine rolls but I have already got some. I think I've got like two or three left over, so I bought the four pack. So hopefully that will last us. Booch this over, put some stuff in the fridge, and then I'll be back with me third. Me third bag. a little bit open I don't know the packets are fell out got Matty's Cheeto Puffs he really likes these six bags I think they were 99p so these are one of the mid loyal things that they've had in for quite a few weeks actually I've got some pesto the special specially selective one this is really really nice to have the pasta I've got some of the Q10 Renew Anti-Wrinkle anti Night Cream with Retinol Complex Avocado Oil and Coenzyme Q10. You see that? Yeah. Now I thought this looked quite good actually and I do need some night cream. I've run out so I should have a look it's like in the box. Looks like... 
quite nice, doesn't it? If I see it on it, it's good. Oh, oh, it's quite thick. It smells like Nivea. Oh. oh, that smells just like Nivea. Oh, I do like that. That's very nice. So, yeah. We'll give it a try. If any of you have tried this, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> oh, I just want to say as well, thank you so much for your lovely comments. I'm getting them every day. I'm trying to work through them as quick as I can. And if I miss you out, I'm so, so sorry. So, yeah. Just keep them coming in though, because I do try my best to reply to all of you. But, yeah. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone and um, I just, I love them, I love them and you're just all so lovely to me and really appreciate it. Um, I do want to say as well, there's someone called, um, her channel is called Nana5, I don't think she's got any videos on there but that's what she's called herself. Um, her real name is Iris and her husband's got um, the dreaded the dreaded illness at the moment the, the covid the covid so um and she's got symptoms as well so i just want to say get well soon iris and your husband um sending lots and lots of love and i hope you're not too poorly so yeah i oh, really hope you get well soon so that's from me anyway moving on I know she watches these, so I'm, I'm pretty sure she'll see this one. But even if she doesn't, please send your love to Nana5, her name is, well, a channel name, and her name's Iris, so send her all your love. Um, So I've got some of these Saviour Bakes Multigrain Crackers. I do like these ones. Then I've got some Classic Basmati Rice. I do like Basmati Rice, it is my favourite, so... We were running, mm, I've got half a, a jar of it, so I thought I'd get some stock up. Got some Power Force Bleak, this ain't leaked, don't tell me this is leaked. It has, it's bloody leaked. No! Right, let me just get a cloth. I'm so glad everything's in big thick bloody wrappers and tins and it's not my fruit and that that I put it in there because it would have gone all over it. Give it a wipe and I'll give it a shove. So annoying! This hasn't happened to me for a while but if you've been watching me um, for a few months you would have seen a couple of my hauls where this has bloody happened. I think, I don't think they were the like the um, food shop hauls. They were like Wilkinson's and Poundland and stuff. Bloody annoying. Anyway, yeah, got my bleach. Doesn't even look like that much has come out. But I also got, which is got a bleach all over it. Give it a dry as well. Where's my tea towel? Give me a Momo. It's straight in, is it? It's so clean. <laughs> And this is in really good packaging as well, so I wonder what I've got in here. So, this is garlic and coriander naan bread. Just a stick in the freezer to go with curry. I'm going to end up getting bleached on this and bleaching my bloody towels and I'll give it a wipe first. Um, has it gone anywhere else? A bit there. I don't think it's got on anything else, you know. A little bit on the side here. Right, so these are the milk chocolate malted milks. If you've never tried these before, where have you been to say they are delicious? And they don't sell them in a lot of shops, but if you see them, pick them up because they're so nice. So I've got some Naked Big Eat Japanese style katsu curry long grain rice pots. I 
tried one of these at my mum's yesterday and they're really, really nice. So I've got one for me and got one for Matty. This is like a little quick snack or lunch or whatever. And I've got some more extra virgin olive oil because I'm nearly run out of this. I've got some penne pasta. Just fill up my pasta jar because there's none in there. I've got some of these now. Anything on there? So these are the slush puppy original spoons. So they're a bit like tip tops. Yeah, a bit like tip tops. But um, yeah, my husband really liked them last year, and Isabel used to love this sort of thing. The blue raspberry ones were her favourite because she used to buy the blue raspberry slush puppies. I've got a tin of the drained and ready to eat in brine tuna steaks. I love these ones because I absolutely hate tuna brine. It says in brine, but you don't have to drain it. So maybe a little bit more expensive, but it makes me gag. It does make me gag that brine. The, I've got to smell this. I absolutely love this smell. So this is the Fabulosa Flowers. And it's the disinfectant ready to use spray. You've got to try this if you haven't tried it before. It literally smells like baby powder, um, baby like creams, like Johnson's baby. It just smells so fresh and lovely. It just smells like newborn babies. Beautiful. So glad I got some of that again because I haven't been able to get that for probably about a year or so got some more onions these are the british brown onions so got a bag of them mine are growing bloody trees off them they're all like you know little green things going off them they're not very nice they go really watery and yeah they need to go oh, this has got a tiny bit on I've got some of the Cat treats. These are the tasty sticks with turkey and lamb. As I said before, dog likes these as well, but he has got his own treats this week. Got some baked beans, like the Aldi ones. Two of them. I think they're about 35p. And then I've got some chunky chopped tomatoes and some peeled plum tomatoes. Yeah. Stick them over there. I'm worried now, like, I'm going to get a bleach on my shirt, because I like this shirt. And I got so of my Albert Bartlett potatoes. These are red ones. Absolutely love these. Buy them most weeks, so they're great in my potato. My leek and potato soup. I keep calling it potato and leek soup, but it's leek and potato soup. That's the way I say it. And last thing in this bag is fig rolls. Love all. So, I think that's it for Aldi. Oh. I've also got one of their magazines. They haven't had these magazines in for a while in my Aldi. So, I like them. I've got one of them to have a, a butcher's through. Right, so that was it for Aldi. I'm now going to move on to the few bits that I've got in Wilco's. So this is the first thing. I've had to open it when I come in because the dog was hungry and we've run out of food. So it's the big bag of the Baker's Superfood Small Dog with Tasty Beef and Crunchy Vegetables. So I buy a big bag of that, the mixed one. And then I buy an extra meaty meals bakers because he loves the um, meaty bits in it, and there's not enough in the mix one. So I buy an extra box and then mix it together in his tub because I've got a big tub where I put his food in. So I mix them together and he loves it. Right, let's just. I took this planter that I got from the cherries haul with me to see if I could get a small plant for it, but I couldn't find one today. So. I'm going to have another look probably tomorrow. I'm going to have a look out of my bag. So, right. What we 
we got oh i've seen these the lenore unstoppable unstoppables fresh scent the reason why i picked these up they were half price these are meant to be eight pound it's the big one four quid oh my god this smell amazing four pound so i had to get on i haven't seen them that cheap before them unstoppable ones I've already opened these up as well because I've put a load in my stepdad's car. These are the premium quality eight hour tea lights candles. But if you can see that, they're like double the thickness of a normal tea light. So yeah, out eight hours they burn for. So these were, how much were these? Four pound. I think they were four pound and you get 30 in that so they do last quite a long time then i got for her lantern the wilco scented candle rose and peony these were they smell like do you know what they smell like palm of violets <laughs> they smell good um these burn up to 38 hours they were only one pound 75 and um yeah they're very similar to the ones i bought from wilco before that was 75p so i've got a feeling they've gone up by a pound because we haven't been able to get those 75p ones since but they they fit perfectly in the little holder inside her her large lantern um so we've kept hold of the glass jars my stepdad's got them at his house and I really want to make some candles, so we're going to use them. Because I've got loads of wax to use up. There are these ones. I've never seen these ones before. These are the Wag Treats cookies for dogs. Eight weeks old plus peanut butter and banana. Look at that. He's going to love them. I'm going to give him one now. Rocky, what's this? Rocky Treat, what's this? Doggy cookie. Oh, uh, what you do? Make them paw, paw, and a paw, and a paw. Kiss, kiss. Good boy. <gasps> he likes them. Made with sugar and salt-free peanut butter. Did you like that? Another one. Oh. No more now. But yeah, I thought I'd get him something a bit different this week. Some sweet ones rather than meaty ones. Then I've bought some more of the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara in waterproof. Mine's just gone missing. I don't know where it's gone, but it's gone. It's gone walkies out of my bedroom. And then I've got some of, oh no, these are pre-glued. I don't want pre-glued. They're the French manicure, manicure click and go. I hate the pre-glued ones. How did I not see that? But I just thought they were lovely. I wonder if I can pick the, because it's like a sticky, you know when you get, um, say you get your card through the post and it's stuck on the paper, it's just that really sticky, stretchy sort of stuff that you peel off the card and they just knock off. So you literally put it on and then you'll touch something and they just ping off. So I'm going to see if I can pick the glue off. I don't know if I should. Should I take them back? They were three quid, I think. Is it worth it? Not my receipt. Yeah, I will walk. Um, nail. I found nail polish, not nail polish, but French nails, three pounds, yeah. And the mascara was three pound thirty. Big dog food was six pound, and the small box was two pound ninety. Um, scented booster eight pound down to four pound. Um, I, I also got Izzy another small 
tea light holder because she has two sort of hanging either side um, of a forever bed, either side of a, of a cross. Um, and one broke a few weeks ago, so I picked up another one of those. Uh, tea lights were four pound. The wag dog cookies were a pound, so it comes to thirty four pound seventy. Um, also with the Aldi horn, I also picked up some flowers for Izzy, um, and then I bought a small bunch of flowers for a little boy called Connor and another little boy called Riley. Um, they're um, forever beds are just sort of in front of Isabel's and it doesn't look like they get people visiting very often so I just like to put stuff there now and again and normally what we'll do is when we refresh Izzy's flowers every week if they still look really good we'll take them out of hers because she's got two pots either side um, and we'll put them into Riley's and Connor's but she didn't have um, any decent flowers this week so we went and got some for Riley and Connor as well, but I like doing that, I do. And um, yeah, make, makes me feel a bit better. And then at Christmas time, I do a little bit for Christmas on either one of them as well. So I think I got them a, a, like a, a Christmas, a little Christmas tree each, like a little plastic one, with a star on the top. I put some tinsel around it in like a heart shape with a tree in the middle and then what else did I put there? I think I just put some like little figures there or something. I'm sure I did. Yeah. Um, I, I just like to. I just like to. But anyway, yeah. I think that's the end of it now. That was, that was quite a long one, wasn't it? You're going to want to know what I spent in Aldi, aren't you? I've got the receipt in my pocket. Just found a tenner in my pocket as well. <laughs> this is from when we went to the festival the Austin festival on Monday I had to get some cash out because the stores take cash I forgot to look at it look at this receipt from out here you want to have a guess have a quick guess you don't need to put it in the comments below if you don't want it just have a guess if you get it right so this week Nana five that I was on about earlier, that's Paulie. Um, and her husband's Paulie as well, bless him. She likes to guess. Um, you might have seen a comment yesterday where she, she guessed in advance. I think she guessed three different prices. But um, she, it's just so sweet, bless her. But let's see if you're right, Iris. It's £107.31. See that? 107.31. Ridiculous. So, with the 34.70 that I spent in um, Aldi, uh, Wilkinson's, it comes to um, a lot. <laughs> My math is not great. Anyway. I've got to put all this away now, haven't I? Um, also, before I go, I might have another haul for you. That's right. I've got another Terry's haul. So stay tuned for that. Keep a lookout for it. Um, so that should be up in the next few days, I think. So, yeah. I've got another Terry's haul. Whoop, whoop. Right, I'm going to go now. My lovely, lovely people. And so, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. It does help me out a lot. And also, give me a thumbs up. That does help as well. So, if you do like this video and you've commented, give me a like as well. Click that like button because that, that does help my channel move along. I think it helps the algorithm or something pushing the video out to more viewers. So, yeah, hit that thumbs up and um, leave me a comment share my video if you know if you got friends that like these haul videos share it with them why not sharing's caring share the love but anyway i'm blabbering now hope you have a lovely friday and a lovely weekend and i will see you very very soon see you later guys bye